Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about randomite and why you should not collect your randomite yet. But before we jump into the video, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. And so the reason why you shouldn't collect your randomite yet is because there is premium user PSO2 day which is coming up. It is going to be on January 22nd. Now keep in mind this only applies to premium users as the name implies. So if you are a free to play player then you know by all means go out and collect all of your randomite. This 50% rare drop rate only applies to premium members. Now another thing I want to talk about is of course the prepare for the final battle campaign. So remember in yesterday's video where I said if you cleared the battle to your purple one as well as two you would probably unlock three and four. Well I finished both of these already and unfortunately you do not unlock level three or level four yet. And the reason for this is because prepare for the final battle campaign is actually split into two parts. So from January 18th until January 25th, this is the first part. So these are all the regular limited time quests that we see right now. However, from January 25th all the way till February 1st, we will get the second part. So I still do believe we will get the Gigas Technique Force as well as the Mastery Force by completing the Kavars as well as Stia Devastators. So uh, you just gotta wait until next week. The next thing I want to revisit is the Refine Form 10 SG Scratch over here. So I was looking at the End Shrine Garb base wear over here for a very long time, thinking that this is odd. The reason why I thought it was odd was because in the base game, we did have this outfit and well, they just made it an NGS version of it, which is really nice. However, if we look back in the base game, the Shrine Garb was a two-piece set. You had the base wear, which we currently have in NGS form. However, there was an outer wear as well. And so I'm a little bit confused on why Sega didn't give us the complete set. Now, this isn't the first time Sega's done this. The Dusk Wake outfit also got the same treatment where we did not get the outerwear. We did not get this really badass looking cape. We only got the sexy bikini inside. And uh, yeah, I just found a really weird that Sega's not giving us the complete set from the SG scratches. So with that being said, I personally will not be pulling on the Refine Form 10 Scratch because first of all, they are giving us an incomplete outfit with the End Shrine Garb. I really wish they gave the complete outfit. It looks really, really good in its complete form. Unfortunately, I don't have the outfit to show you because back in the base game, I didn't purchase it. So I kind of regret that I didn't get it. But I really wish that they would just give us the outerwear as well because that completes the outfit. Just the innerwear itself, it looks a bit basic. You know, you kind of need the outer robe to complete the entire look. Now, another thing that bothers me about the Refine Form 10 is, of course, the bonus items. So if you go over here to the Scratch Count bonus, you're going to see over here there is the Luminous Princess Face Blue, Red, as well as just the regular Luminous Princess Head. These are actually base PSO2 faces. So the reason I know this is because when you zoom in over here, you can see that this is an NGS face. However, when you click on this and preview, this is the base game face. You can tell it's, you know, it's very polygony and uh, it doesn't look very nice after you get used to the NGS faces. So look at this. Here's the Princess Luminous Red. You know, everything's just kind of polygonish, I guess. I don't know. It just doesn't look very nice. And if we look at the Luminous Princess head over here, it's just... Uh... I really wish they updated these into the NGS variant so it just looks a little bit nicer. So I am quite disappointed about the scratch count bonus items over here. However, there is a little bit of silver lining and that is of course the Motion Dash Jet Boost over here. Now keep in mind we did get this Jet Boost for free from the Mission Pass before. However, it was a red colored booster instead of a blue colored one. However, I know there are a lot of cast players out there that really wanted blue fire because their color scheme is blue and not red. So this is the silver lining in this entire scratch. However, the more important reason on why I'm saving my star gems is actually because of the next SG scratch. I am fully expecting that the next SG scratch is going to have all of the Stia characters cosmetic items. The reason I say this is because two years ago we got the Alio scratch which was Aina, Manon, Goora as well as the Alio cast and then last year in February we actually got the Ritem scratch with Nadere's hairstyle and all of that and that was the very first time the SG scratch had a full wipe and all of the items were changed. Well it just so happens that the refined form 10 is going to be ending on february 15th and on top of that if we look at the prize pool there's display end on all of the items so all of the items are going to be going away and so we're getting a brand new sg scratch and they always start a brand new sg scratch with the region cosmetics and so i'm fully expecting them to release all of the stia characters as well as their cosmetics and that includes kanui's 
So the main thing I really like about Kanui is her hairstyle. And if we look at Kanui's hairstyle over here, it actually reminds me very much of Tifa's hairstyle. So uh, I actually put out a post because I've been playing a lot of FF7 Remake recently, and I really like Tifa's hairstyle. And I was thinking, hey, we really need a hairstyle like this in NGS because I can't seem to find anything that resembles this type of hairstyle. And then chat reminded me that Kanui's hairstyle kind of resembles it. You know, you've got the little tie over here and it is relatively long hair. So it is pretty awesome. And this is going to be another really awesome hairstyle which you can obtain for free because you don't need to purchase this through the player store and the mission pass will actually give you a selector ticket in case you get extremely unlucky and you aren't able to pull for her hairstyle. You will be able to use the selector ticket to just grab the hairstyle right off the bat. And also keep in mind if you don't like the horns as well as all the cast stuff over here, you can actually hide the head adornments and just get the hairstyle by itself. However, the real reason why I really want that hairstyle is because I want to make a Delta cosplay on ship 4. For those who do not know where Delta is from, she's from this really cringy anime called The Eminence in Shadow. However, it's so freaking good, I can't stop watching it. I'm losing brain cells as I watch it, but I just can't stop because it's just so good. With that being said, of course I have to add in the legendary cringe line. I am Atomic. You're welcome. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel, it really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video, hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!